Hey, this is Ming here, speech therapist from agentsofspeech.com. We're going to talk about three reasons why your child is speech delayed. Number one is a language poor environment. So if you've watched Tarzan as a kid, like I did, then you will know if no one speaks the language around you, you won't be able to pick up language. Okay. And there are studies throughout probably the last 20 years is that they see children who are in social economic, different social economic classes, higher and lower is that higher socioeconomic classes because they have more chances of education and listening to people and going to school and going to different activities. Their, their spoken language and written language are a lot better than those at their counterparts and lower socioeconomic classes, right? And that's just the reality of which, right? If you are in the environment, in the vicinity of like people who speak very well, then the chances of you speaking well and learning the language will increase as well. Okay, so that's number one. So if you're thinking about how to improve your child's language, it's always to give, provide a language rich environment, right? And the reason why sometimes like you hear in this channel or somewhere else, you say cut off screen time. And the reason is because when you're having screen time, is that a language rich environment or not, right? Your, your child is bombarded with words and, and songs and, and sentences and stories, yes. But at the same time, the function of language is to communicate. So if they learn all these language parts like Lego bricks and they don't know how to use it, then it's still a language poor environment. Okay. It doesn't mean that they're able to use it. Well, you know, uh, if, if you can't use it, then you're not rich, you know, the same as money It's the same as language. You, you can't use your language. You're still language poor. So that's the reason behind it. That's why we, we always say cut the screen time and have quality time with your child. And that means if you search on YouTube, you go like language, facilitation skills, right? It's not like not only the videos from me, uh, like just language facilitation just works. So you can watch other therapists talking about it. It doesn't need to be me and learn those skills about it to help your child. So language poor environment, very, very important reason about why your child is speech delayed. Number two is autism spectrum disorder. So ASD short for that. And the reason why it becomes so to speak, speech delay. It's not really speech delay. We talked about this before in a video. It's actually language delay because autism spectrum disorder, ASD, people on the spectrum, uh, so to speak, they have a problem um, understanding why they should talk to us, right? I'm saying they and us because literally it's neurodivergent and we're neurotypical, right? So between people like us, neurotypical people like us and people who are on the spectrum, they do not understand why we have to uh, communicate when they can have all the food, all the shelter, everything, you know, like given to them. There's no other need. And they don't really like when people say uh, ASD children do not enjoy playing or do not enjoy hanging out with, with us. That's not necessarily true. It's like they don't, just don't understand why and they don't understand how it's like adding value to their lives. And therefore, they would much rather play and think on their own. Right. And that therefore when they have that mindset, it's very difficult for them to develop a higher language skill, right? Because if they're not interested, they don't know why in using that language, why would they learn it, <laughs> right? You've seen a lot of maybe Chinese looking people in America or vice versa. You see some Americans in my hometown, Hong Kong, they don't speak a word of the local language. And the reason is because it's the same. Their function and their like their desires and wants do not align with the effort for learning the language and therefore they would be delayed or they, they won't learn the language. Right? So it's the same thing, but we have to think it in a different way. All right. So the second reason is about ASD. Okay. And the third reason is that there's no particular reason and all these speech and language problems, it could be developmental. And to this day, we still do not know why. All right. And even if we knew why it doesn't mean we can solve it. So, I see a lot of parents, they jump through a lot of hoops and they say like, oh, Ming, look, I've jumped through so many hoops. I've tried, been trying so hard. I want to know why, what's going on. A parent recently told me, oh, my, my kid has some sort of like heavy metal poison or like it's a slightly higher heavy metal number. Okay. And they were saying, is it possible that my child is speech delayed because of this? And my response is maybe, I don't know, probably, I, I really don't know. You know, ask the doctor, but at the same time, you have to think about like, if this is the reason solving it will actually lead to better language. And most of the time, the answer is still maybe we still don't know. So given that we don't know the reasons why all we can do is to teach language one by one, the reasons about why they have to learn how to communicate, how to imitate us, how to take turns, how to wait, all these, we have to teach the kid so that 
even if they don't feel good, they can still have a way out. Okay. So it's a very important concept for you to understand that even if we knew the reason we cannot solve it, there might be some part of the brain that isn't developing the, the way it should be. It's like firing in a different way. All these things we know, so what? We cannot change the brain structure, right? Same as like a genetic disorder. What we can do is only we can cope, right? We can use behavioral tactics to cope. And behavioral tactics are the only ways that I can teach you about for a child between like two to six years old. If we're talking about older, we can start using other therapy techniques, teaching them cognitive rules, right? Telling them a like cognitive level means that we're teaching them something that is above behavior and teaching them how to think, how to use structures, how to use a, a framework for them to think about how they should go about the world, which is still coping because most of the time we cannot change the fundamental. So why care about the reason? Okay. Unless there's something we can do about it. It's not like it's a curved spine or whatever that you can do exercises to alleviate that, right. And cure it and go back to quote unquote normal. We're not going to do that. Right. The only thing we can do for speech and language delayed children is to teach them the baseline of their language skill and their social language play, whatever, all those skills up their baseline and also teach them how to cope whenever they're too stressed in an environment that they require to perform. OK, so that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't, please go to agentsofspeech.com slash checklist if you want to start home therapy today. We have a list of tools and toys that will tell you exactly what to get. And we're going to update that checklist so that there are some videos about like some instructions at the very least telling you how to use those tools. OK, thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.